There is a lot going on tonight, beginning with breaking news in Hillcrest, where 10 News was on the scene just moments after a man was run down by an SUV, which then just sped away. Good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson. And I'm Kimberly Hunt. It all started about 8.15 tonight near 6th Avenue in Evans Place in Hillcrest. Both streets have been shut down for hours. That's where we find 10 News reporter Dan Haggerty. He is live with the clues that will hopefully lead to an arrest. Dan? Yeah, and the road just opened a short time ago. You see police still here. Uh, they just told me a detective a few minutes ago he's been going door to door. They have discovered one piece of evidence they hope can help. That's a surveillance camera across the street from where this accident happened. They hope whatever they see on there can help them make an arrest. The paramedics got to the scene quickly. Chanel Davis called 911 and watched this man get loaded into an ambulance headed for the nearest trauma center. I mean, I'm, I would be surprised if he's alive. I mean, he couldn't move from what I could see. She saw the man get hit and hopped up to help. She was dining outside on 6th Avenue in Hillcrest when it happened. Hit the car and then went off, zooming by. She told the dispatcher what she saw, and other witnesses told police the same story. A brown-colored, early 2000s sedan, possibly a Toyota with Illinois plates, hit the man and didn't stick around. It was com very obvious that he had knew he had a person and left. So 100% hit and run. Police found some debris at the scene and say the car may be badly damaged, possibly with a shattered windshield. The man who was hit was unconscious when he left the scene. Police say he's in very serious condition. Hit and run in its complete form, like completely gone, like, like hit this person and deliberately left. Okay, I'm back here live. This is a pawn shop right across the street. Out front of this pawn shop was where that man was hit. There's also a surveillance camera, we're told, on this building as well, and that's going to be the one they hope uh, can really show this car in clear sight because it will have the angle of the car driving directly toward this man. Uh, the person in the hospital right now, police say it's still in very serious condition. They're expecting that he will live. Stay with us here at 10 News. We're going to have the newest information for you tomorrow morning on 10 News this morning. For now, they're reporting live in Hillcrest. I'm Dan Haggerty, 10 News.